it's, it's not always about the beat. Yeah, it's supposed to evoke an emotion so that uh, people can actually connect with the song. Uh, I don't know how many layers of background vocals that are going on inside there, but uh, all that is coming from the background vocals. This is R&B, it's about the vocal, about the lyrics, about the feeling. Okay, so let us break down Love Letter by me, Lily Hawe, an Unity original. The main sound in this thing is the guitar. I got a sample, a guitar sample. I was looking for something that can invoke a certain feeling. So I realized I was going for like an, an R&B type of feel with this. I wanted something that is a little bit more dramatic. So I decided to use a snap. It's a really wide snap and it's super percussive. There's that transient that makes it cut through, but then again, there's also a reverb that gives it that sense of dimension. This snare now comes in in the hook to give it like a give it a little bit more energy because the song is so mellow. So for dynamic purposes, I decided to put in this snare, and this was actually added during post production. Let me play all the percussions for you. Yeah, still adding to that that vibe here yeah, of being in a, like you're in a room, and there are just these sounds that are coming from. One sound is coming from there, another sound is coming from there, and they're just like coming into your ears, but in a nice kind of way. And then there is this simple two step hi hat. It's a real lo fi type of hi hat. It sounds dirty, and there's some reverb on it. This is the kick. Now, this kick actually, it's just following the bass line. So it's an 808 that I usually use. It just takes the sub just for that heaviness in the beat. I use this type of 808 because I didn't want the 808 to overshadow everything else. So this is just to give the bass a little bit more high end so that it's, it can cut through like phone speakers. So I just wanted this 808 to be at the bottom to hold, to, to carry the song. But still, with the 8-weight, I layered this uh, bass. This is called uh, Bite Me from Flex for those producers that are watching. This is a stock plugin in FLX. So this is what the bass sounds like. You realize it's just that initial transient that is hard. And then after that, there is this... Uh, there is a lead. Now this lead is for the high end because most of the body of this song is is in the mids, then to the low end. The high end is missing something, so I just added one sound to the high end. That sits up there with the vocals on the high end. Yeah. So maybe these other these other things that you just add for like ear candy. The guitar, but as a complement to the main guitar. Then my boy Unity actually added some some of his vocals to his beats. He just recorded something, put a format shift on it, and pitched it. And uh, we, we took the format up and we added delay and reverb to it to just add to that sense of space. So you realize it is a very simple beat because most of the melodic part of the song actually comes from the vocals. I just wanted this for the artist to just jump on this thing and actually just 
go crazy with the harmonies and the background vocals and everything and unity and lily actually came through with all of that you know i'm never giving it sounded like like uh like something that you'd sing to a loved one even like like even the way i mixed the song if you i don't know if, if you're critical eh, you'd hear unity like his backups in one ear yes. then you you're also in the other ear yeah it's like yeah, yeah you get yeah. it's like uh to and fro yeah. when i see you i can lie 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 got me sick so what it sounds like yeah. 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 It's a very beautiful song and trust me you'll love it and you can play it for your loved ones, anyone you crush, that person who would have been the Watifs, I don't know. Yeah. You can do all that. Yeah.